The Armed Forces feature report cameras are here at Los Angeles International Airport today. The occasion is the departure of Bob Hope and his troop for Vietnam, Thailand, and Guam. Bob Hope is taking off on another of his now famous Christmas tours. This marks the second consecutive Christmas he will have visited the combat area in the Republic of Vietnam. His sponsors are the Department of Defense and the USO, which, by the way, will be celebrating its 25th anniversary in a few short weeks. For Bob Hope, it's a silver anniversary, too. He began entertaining troops for the USO in March of 1941, one month after the USO was founded, and he hasn't stopped yet. Last summer, his show was in the Dominican Republic. Last Christmas, he was in the Far East, and he's going there again this year. He got on his Christmas entertainment kick in 1949 when he went to Alaska. Since then, his annual Christmas shows have taken him all over the world, over six million miles, in fact. His suitcase has stickers from the countries of the Mediterranean, the Far East, Greenland, Iceland, and even Africa. Wherever there have been GIs, Bob Hope has been there giving a Christmas show. He did stay home, however, for three consecutive Christmases, 1951, 52, and 53. And 1952 was the only year that he hasn't entertained troops. The other two years that he was in the United States, he was bringing laughter to patients at the Long Beach Veterans Hospital. His trip this Christmas is illustrious as usual. Carol Baker, star of Baby Doll and Harlow, Anita Bryant, Kay Stevens, Joey Heatherton, Jerry Colonna, the Nicholas Brothers, Miss USA World, who is Miss Diana Lynn Batts in Private Life, along with Peter Leeds and Les Brown and his band of renown. I'm sure you're looking at this unique hat. One of the stars going along with Bob Hope on this trip to the Far East in Vietnam, of course, is a popular singing and recording star, Anita Bryant. Good morning, Anita. Good morning to you. I wish you'd explain that hat to us. I'd be delighted. I'm so proud of it. I, this, uh, of course, I received uh, from the servicemen last year on our trip uh, to Vietnam. Um, and uh, this is my sixth trip, incidentally, and I'm looking forward to it more than ever. And this hat was given to me by the servicemen in Benoit. This was our first stop before we um, arrived with such a bang in Saigon. But the medals were also given to me by the servicemen themselves at the different campsites, like in uh, uh, Pleiku, Camp Holloway, La Trang, Da Nang, and all of the places you've read about. Of all course, the names the that are in the news. That's right. right. And um, so I'm rather proud of it, and I hope to um, maybe even fill it up a little more this year. Well, I know the troops overseas appreciate it, and we sure appreciate talking with you. Well, I've enjoyed it. Best of luck to you on this tour. And uh, if you have a chance, will you go again next year? I will. I will. I'll go again as much as I can. Good. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas and happy Merry New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Gentlemen, that needs no introduction to Armed Forces Radio and Television. Bob, how are you today? I'm just fine. Are you anxious to get going? Oh, I really am, and I'm really excited about this trip because we got a marvelous mob here, and uh, looks like this is going to be the, the greatest. Well, I don't want to hold you up. I don't want to hold that beautiful Air Force jet up. We have a young man who wants your autograph, Why don't though. you enlist, you draft dodger? <laughs> the little redhead <laughs> sneaked in. Came in right on cue. We've been rehearsing for about an hour. There you are. You know Red Skelton's kid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hold you up. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to the armed forces overseas that won't be seen? No, you just, uh, just a warning. Get ready. Here we come. <laughs> well, well, it's going to be fine. It's, uh, it's gonna... Come here, Kay. It's Kay Stevens standing here. Hey, little girl from my hometown. I have to bring in Kay Stevens. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. And the Cleveland, armed I'm from Detroit. Oh, Neighbors hello. almost. No kidding. That's true. You're just about two or three winds away, aren't you? Right across that lake. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... We have, I think we have some of the greatest talent this year. And, uh, the lineup really looks one good. of the great gals that's uh, going along on a tour, and uh, I think it's going to be fantastic. I really well, it's do. a wonderful thing you're doing, Bob. I'm starting to get a little more excited about this thing than I have been, even without sleep. What's the driver for? It's just a personal weapon. It's just, it's a, you know, <laughs> everybody's got their own kick, and this is mine. I get, to get a little Kong that's over ambitious. Is that me? Well, I know they're going to appreciate the show, and best wishes to you. Thank, Thank you very much. God bless Thank you. you. Right. God okay. bless you, sir.
I wonder, however, if you could explain uh, what your position with the USO is. Well, I'm the director of USO shows. I'm in charge of all of the entertainment, the live entertainment that goes overseas from continental United States. Do you work often with the uh, Department of Defense? Now, I know this trip uh, that we're talking about with Bob Hope is being co-sponsored, but what about the other trips? We work very closely with the Department of Defense on every unit we send out. Uh, in Washington, there's an office called the Armed Forces Professional Entertainment Branch, which coordinates all of the USO shows that are put up by our agency with the overseas commanders. Well, how, does, how is a show put together? Well, there's several different types. The college shows that we send over, and we're sending over shows from the drama departments as well as the music departments, are put together, of course, by those departments. The paid professional shows, we have a producer on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. We use, as a general rule, standard vaudeville or variety acts, and it's up to that producer to assemble those acts and dub the music into them and so on, the combo that we hire, and put them together as a finished package. The celebrity shows go through about the same uh, rehearsal process with our local producers, depending on which coast they assemble. Now, the talent, is it all volunteer? The celebrities, in every case, are volunteer. However, the supporting players that go with the unit are paid, and they're paid in accordance with agreements we have with the unions for a union scale. That's the musicians and the various other variety acts that go along with the star or the top celebrity. Well, college uh, units are all voluntary. But they are. Yes. All the uh, amateur, I use the word amateur. Yes, this is an amateur group, but they're doing wonderful work. Well, we've been talking with Mr. Jerome Corey from the national headquarters of the USO, and I want to thank you for stopping by well, and thank you. explaining the functions of the USO. I'm sure that you spread a little light on that subject for us. I've enjoyed it. Thank, thank you very much.